What is going on, Red Off Force? Today, we're going to have a, a talk video. Uh, we're going to talk about the freaking Crunchyroll Dragon Ball Z re-releases, or just Dragon Ball in, in its entirety, of the re-releases that Crunchyroll uh, is doing, which not many, not many of us are happy about. And I just want to talk about it because I've been engaging requests to cover this topic. So without further ado, let's let, let's pull the website up. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, it is Dragon Ball Z 16 by 9 Blu-ray seasons 1 through 9. The old ones that made the, that were literally the orange bricks, but Blu-ray. So they're not even the still books. I don't know why they're releasing that. Let's see, it should be new. Is there like new items? There we go. Oh, there, 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 there they are. There they are. So let's find. So you got obviously season two, seven, eight, one, three, nine, four, six, and five. I think that covers it all. Anyways, let's just pick up season one, I guess. So the pre-order. Um. Well, you can take a look close, close uh, image of this. Everything looks the same. You know, f f you know, from this stock photo image, the only thing I see different is maybe the blue, the Blu-ray case. I mean, but I know this is stock photo; it doesn't really matter. Blu-ray, and obviously, Funimation logo is gone. If you didn't know, uh, Crunchyroll took over Funimation. It's got the Crunchyroll logo there. Uh, even on the back, Crunchyroll there and their logo. Um, the artwork is identical. Uh, oh, another thing: the the UPC is completely different than the originals. Which I mean. I'm assuming since they own a different company, they will have to do that. Uh, people ask me if I'm going to get this set, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I, I, I got the Dragon Ball GT set just because it was in a different case. It looked different. But this, I'm going to have to wait till these come out. But I'm more than likely, I'm not going to waste my money on this crap because it's literally the same release, same artwork, same case. And they're and forty four dollars, not to mention per season. So you're looking at like, how how much is forty four times nine? Holy crap! So let's round it up. Forty five times nine. You're gonna have to spend four hundred and five dollars without taxes, without shipping, to get these. Uh, that's absurd. They're they're releasing this like it's two thousand nine, nine all over again. I think these came out two thousand nine. I don't know. They came out two thousand eight, two thousand nine, two thousand ten, somewhere in that era. But that's crazy. Like. Come out what they come out August or July. They come out August. That's insane. But yeah, so the key differences: UPC, Crunchyroll, possibly case. That's it. That's it. Nothing's different. Um, if you guys didn't know, they released GT. Hold on, let me grab that real quick. And I think what bothers people the most about these are, of course, it's obviously the sixteen by nine. It's the 16 by 9 old old releases, and they're using the same artwork. Like, to be fair, if they use different artwork, I'd be tempted to buy the buy it. You know, um, like they did with the Dragon Ball GT. Some it's not well, it's not different artwork because this art has been used before on their other releases. Same on the back, but it's, it's a different case. We've never seen this case before by Crunchyroll. I don't know if you you can see there. Yeah, their logo is on there. On the back, back's probably easier to see. Crunchyroll.com. Um, so that is official. But yeah, um, I believe this was Crunchyroll's first re-release of, of of something. Uh, but it, this one was different, you know, and it's not nine seasons of bullcrap. But this one looks like it's gonna be the same. And uh, I, people commented saying, "I need to bring awareness to this because this is just wrong. This they should not be doing this." Like you know. Just when you think, like, you know, Funimation was getting slimy now, you know, Crunchyroll's got it. They're being just as slimy and re-releasing stuff just to milk Dragon Ball again. Like, I, and I don't even know why. Like, why re-release these sets? You know, why not re-release the Steelbooks like they did? You know, they made the 30th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Then they released the Steelbooks for the, the casuals to buy them. Now... Now they're re-releasing these, and and nobody cares about these except for people that don't know Dragon Ball. Like, will these even make money for them? I, I don't know. Here's season two. 
all works all the same. I've already cross-referenced all of these. And mine are in the Amazon exclusive box set that I own. So, like, I don't, I don't know why. I don't understand Season 3. Where was it? That's... But, yeah, it's just... That's weird, man. I, I, I really... I really... Uh, it'd be nice if we could all go on strike and just not buy their products. But I know there's gonna... I know there's gonna be... I'm a freak for Dragon Ball. But there's somebody that's even freakier than me that's gonna buy these just because the UPC is different. Which I have done before, but... Not on nine whole seasons. That's absurd. But I'm definitely waiting until these come out just to see what it looks like. You know, I, I, I wonder this. All right. Do you guys think they'll even release this with the slip cover? Or is it just going to be a Blu ray case? If they don't release this with a slip cover, I am done with their bull crap. And charging a premium, nonetheless. A premium. That's absurd. A premium. Holy crap. There are slime balls. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm sure Crunchyroll, they, what they do, merge with Funimation. I'm sure that's the same employees, same marketing lead, same freaking slime balls that's been there since the beginning. Uh, like, ah, man. But yeah, from, from the stock photos, it doesn't even look like they're going to have a freaking slipcover. And that's just, I don't understand. Like, you know, I thought maybe... They just had like an overabundance of the old sets, but these have to be reprinted because of the Crunchyroll logo and the uh, UPC code. Here's season five. But definitely let me know what you guys think of uh, the, these things here, man. Because I think it's a bunch of crap, honestly. I'm just waiting to see what the heck's going to be next because you know they're going to, they're probably going to re release the orange bricks. <laughs> Which, that would be great. That would be great. That would be the nail in the cup. Where's season six? Why are these out of order, dude? They can't even do their website right. There it is. I don't know. Now, y'all should leave a comment down below and let me know. Do they do, they do this for other animes? Because I, I don't know. But it, it's weird that they re-released GT first, you know? Because that was the first time GT... Had a release, I think, since the freaking Green Books, dude. I think, since the Green Books. That's crazy. And why... I wouldn't have been upset if they re-released Dragon Ball, you know, in DVD format. Just with a different artwork, I wouldn't even be upset. Wouldn't even be upset. But no, they go back with these. It's already been re-released. Z, once again, re-released again. But, um... Let's see, there's one more thing I wanted to cover, but I'm distracted. I'm looking at the seasons. Um, Season 7 here. Oh, I mean, this is a slap in the face again, man. $44. Wow. I, I, I have to know. Here's what I was going to say. I just want to know, like, whose idea was this and why? Is it just for a money grab or is it because... Here's my thing. I was talking to my buddy about this, you know, about why didn't they just release the Steelbooks again? Because that would have been fine. You know, that's that's fine. And our, our theory is behind uh, is because maybe Toy Animation isn't giving Funimation the rights to release the 30th anniversary of 4x3 video anymore. Because I've heard they, they will not... Toy Animation has to approve of all the artwork on the disc and the case before it gets approved. They, they will send in the artwork that they can choose from, right? They can't use anything else that's not on uh, what they send them. But these have been released since like 2010, so maybe there's like a clause. Or something that after so many years they can just re-release the same product again with no issues, and maybe th that would explain it because these came out. I, you know, I, we'll look this up in the at the end of this video. But these came out like 2010, no later than 2012, and no earlier than 2008. But maybe that's it because Toei Animation can't get them for releasing like an outdated 16 by 9 uh, crop that nobody cares about, and the artwork is like over 10 years old now. Maybe they can't do nothing about that. Which would explain the GT as well. Because it's reused artwork just in a different case. Which is weird. Like why do they have these kind of cases laying around? I, I, don't, I don't know. And uh, here's season 9. So let's, let's look up. Um, 
Let's look up uh, Dragon Ball Z. Sixteen by nine. Blu-rays. See if there's a. Is there a release? Ah, uh, I forgot the website, man. I used to do this all the time before I finished. Okay, hold on. Let's just do the home media. I know it's on the home media. Home media website. Shout out to whoever made this website. They need to add the freaking VHSs though, but whatever. Well, I think they do have the VHSs, but they don't cover it in detail. Alright, here we go. Scroll down. Ba -ba 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 okay, they came out in... Okay, wow, I was wrong. Uh, 2013 to 2014. So they are 10 years old. I wasn't wrong about 10 years old, pretty much, depending on what season you're looking at. Okay, 13. So, they came out in 13, and they're re-releasing these in 2023. Mid-2023. Wow. That's... When did the Dragon Boxes come out? 9 to 11? Okay. I was thinking Dragon Boxes then. Ha! Uh, it's crazy to think that the freaking Orange Bricks came out in 2007, though. I feel older than that. Um, let's look at what people were talking about with this crap. Dragon Ball Z, Crunchyroll, Blu-ray. I know that people have been talking about it. Let's look at some funny comments. Can we... Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Yeah, yeah, here it is. New Dragon Ball Z coming from Blu-rays. <laughs> Looks like it's just going to be the 2013 to 2014 Blu-rays with Funimation logo and branding swapped out for Crunchyroll. Still ridiculous that 16 by 9 is releases being pushed. The 30th anniversary replaces that, yeah. Uh, the 35th anniversary. I mean, get out of here. Funimation and by extension Crunchyroll seem to be under the belief that only the hardcore fans want the show in correct aspect ratio. No, I think they're just stupid. I think they're just stupid. I don't think Crunchyroll even cares about us. They care about money. They will still probably use the 30th anniversary transfers on the... What? Why are people thinking this 35th anniversary thing? They ain't making another one, bro. The version of the show used... And the 30th Blu-rays was fine before they smeared off all the grain. I, I, I like the 30th, man. I, I like the 30th. Y'all need to quit complaining. Here's my thing. <clears throat> if you're trying to watch Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, on an HD 4K TV, don't. Stop. Stop. If you're going to watch it on that, the DVDs won't even look good. You need to get it. Get, the 30th anniversary looks good for a 4K TV. Uh... If you want to watch Dragon Ball Z in its all of its glory, get the Dragon Boxes or, or get the original single DVDs and watch it on a, a CRT TV and they look amazing. You got grain and all of its glory, just do it. Uh, that's how I watch my Dragon Ball Z. I've been, I've been re-watching it on my Trinitron behind me. Looks amazing. 4x3, everything. But if you're trying to watch Dragon Ball Z, 4K, modern displays, HD TV. 30th anniversaries are the are better, you know, for them TVs. They they make it look like they they just make it just makes the aspect ratio feel better. You know, it's clear. I mean, you put a DVD in a DVD player on an eight a 4K TV, it's gonna look garbage. Even the Dragon Boxes look garbage on a modern display. Anyways, this could, they honestly could have just re-released the DVD singles. <laughs> True. Wait, what? I also see the Resurrection F Collector's Edition is back? Hold on a minute. What? Why? Wait, is this a pre-order on this? What is this? No, I don't need that. Why am I on the internet right now? This is making me mad. Alright, I don't know. Whatever. Um. And you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Let's find another one. There we go. This is what I want to see. Twitter. Let's see what Twitter has to say about this. Dragon Ball Z seasons one through nine are getting re-released August first. Let's see. 
Yep, it's the same. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're right. You are right. What do you have against good home releases? Yeah, I know, right? Do I even have? I don't know. Why don't? You, oh, this is another thing. I don't use Twitter, but yeah. So people are just talking crap. It's dumb. It's dumb. What do you expect? It's Crunchyroll. It's Funimation. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. I'm gonna definitely have to edit this because I rambled on. But uh, yeah. So we're getting a crappy um, 69, 2013, 2014 uh, Blu-rays of Dragon Ball Z seasons one through nine. Uh, and it says right here, just just for you, just in case you think it's like gonna be the, the same artwork, but four by threes, you're wrong. It's sixteen by nine right there. UPC is changed, Studios Crunchyroll. So, I mean, comes out August. I mean, wow, brand new release. If you want it now, go grab it, pre-order it right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, release, cause I'm curious. Uh, are you going to buy this? Cause this will be the first pre-order that I passed on on Dragon Ball in a long time. And you you guys know me. I have every single uh, Dragon Ball Z media ever released. Uh, the only thing, I, I haven't made an exception like for these. I don't count these because it's literally the same release. I don't care if it has a different UPC code. I only buy different releases if it's a different artwork cover. Like, they re-released the manga sets, the manga box sets. I didn't re-buy those because, well, first off, um, it didn't have the outer slip. There's nothing different about the artwork except for the freaking um, is it Shonen Jump's Viz Media that the logos have changed. I'm not buying. I'm not, I don't buy the media for the companies that produce them. I buy them for the Dragon Ball artwork. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to buy it just because the company logos changed or the UPC unless the artwork is different, you know? Like, that's like the 30th anniversary on Dragon Ball Walmart exclusives. I bought them. Same release, different artwork. Of course, I bought that. You know, stuff like that, I will buy. But I'm not rebuying the same release, especially if it's in lesser quality. Like, like, um, like this one I bought because it's different, you know. The artwork, now, give it the artwork is pretty much the same, but the back is slightly different. And the case is different. Not that I care about the case, but... It's besides the point. It's It was only one release, too. It's not like they released, like, individual DVDs. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys, take care. Peace.